Hi everyone, this is Dr. Prabhakar and welcome to another episode of The Fibro Doc, where I inspire women to live a life free of bleeding and pain and to optimize their fertility. The last few weeks we've been talking about fibroids and fertility and today I would like to discuss three surgical considerations or questions that patients often ask me when dealing with fibroid surgery. So number one, hysteroscopy. Now, if you haven't watched my video from last week, I highly encourage you to do that. I go through the entire procedure of hysteroscopy in detail in the operating room. And now you may be getting a hysteroscopy if your doctor has identified a polyp or a small fibroid inside the cavity of your uterus. And prior to getting pregnant, you want your uterus to be nice and clean and um, you don't want any of these little obstructions in there that could affect implantation of the embryo. So this is a procedure that I do to, um, you know, chip away the polyp, fiber, remove it entirely and make the uterus ready for um, pregnancy, either if you're trying uh, to get pregnant on your own or if you are undergoing fertility treatments. And um, a lot of patients say, well, how long must I wait after hysteroscopy to get pregnant? Um, of course, this is going to vary individually and especially if you're pursuing fertility treatments. But in short, this is a very um, quick procedure. It, the recovery is very fast and um, you should just, you know, wait for one cycle um, prior to trying to conceive. Um, the time between a hysteroscopy and pregnancy does not need to be long. Okay, number two, how long must I wait after um, a robotic myomectomy or an abdominal myomectomy to get pregnant? So a myomectomy is the procedure of removing a fibroid. And there are a couple ways we can do myomectomies, either um, open or abdominal, which is um, an incision in the abdomen, uh, like a C-section incision, or we can do it minimally invasive. So typically I do these robotically. And after these procedures, a lot of patients say, well, how long must I wait? And essentially after this, you want to wait a full six months um, prior to getting pregnant, especially if um, many fibroids were removed um, or the fibroids were very large. So you wanna to talk to your doctor about it and find out these details. How many fibroids were removed? Uh, what was the size? What was the location? And that will guide the discussion of how long you must wait. But typically for these larger surgeries, you're looking at anywhere from five to six months. And the third question, can I have a normal delivery after a myomectomy? So, this is another um, question whose answer really depends on how big the fibroids were and where they were located. So if you had eight, 10, 12 fibroids to remove and your doctor had to make multiple cuts throughout your uterus to remove these, you want to have a C-section. Um, if you had a small fibroid or um, one that was sort of very much on the outside of the uterine wall, uh, then that's a different story. But depending on the number of incisions, the size and the location of these fibroids, you're most likely going to need a C-section um, when you deliver a baby. And often these C-sections are done a little bit early. So instead of waiting till your due date, which is 40 weeks, your doctor may want to do it around 37 or, you know, sometimes even 36 and a half, 30 to 37 and a half weeks. Um, this is so the uterus does not labor or the uterus doesn't contract. Um, you know, when the, when the uterus contracts to have a baby, it's, it's squeezing, you know, in and out, in and out. And if you've had multiple incisions or cuts in your uterus, this can weaken the wall of the uterus. And so if this has been your case, you want to protect that um, uterus from you know, contracting so much because if it really contracts and the wall is truly weak, the uterus can rupture um, during labor. And so that's why um, this is a especially important um, question to ask your doctor when you do get pregnant after a fibroid surgery. Okay, so uh, number one, hysteroscopy. Number two, how long should you wait um, to get pregnant after these surgeries? 
And number three, can you have a vaginal delivery or should you do you need a C-section? So discuss these points with your doctor if you're somebody who um, has fibroids and is undergoing surgery. These videos are truly informational. Um, they are um, you know, not medical advice, but these are good um, things to think about if you have fibroids and you are trying to get pregnant. Until next time, bye.